Hi, Grady 11. Welcome back. Unit 3, early to bed and early to rise. Right. Today we're going to do listening to and I'd like you to open your textbook and go to page 59. Yeah, listening to get back in bed. Okay, our vocabulary for today, we have accumulate, fatigue, get cranky, make something a priority and touch on. Like teenagers, parents of small children are often sleep deprived. You will hear part of an interview from Satellite Sisters. Leanne, one of the sisters, is talking with Dr. Joyce Walsben, director of New York University Sleep Disorder Center. You're going to use the words or phrases in the box to fill in the blanks in the conversation below, and you are going to use the appropriate forms. Okay, appropriate form means that you have to write it in a way so it grammatically made sense within this sentence and the whole conversation. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is you're going to try to put it in just to get an idea of uh, what, how the words are used in context of this talk. Pause your video to do this. Go ahead. Okay, that brings us uh, to the audio. Let's listen to the interview. And I want you uh, to circle the correct answers. You're gonna answer these questions. Now, before you do that, remember to annotate first on all the keywords in the questions and the answer choices. All right, so pause your video to annotate. Awesome, that brings us uh, to the start. Remember, we have uh, seven questions, yeah? two on the other page right okay let's start this is leon and like many of our listeners out there i'm tired i'm tired in the morning i'm tired in the afternoon and i'm really tired at night and frankly i'm tired of being tired my excuse is that i have two small children who sleep a little and wake up a lot dr walslaven why are we all so tired we're probably tired because we don't make sleep a priority. And I think as a young mother and a career woman, your days are pretty well filled. And I would suspect that you probably think you can do without sleep or at least cut your sleep short. And one of the things that happens is we forget that sleep loss accumulates. So even one bad night teamed with another will make an effect on our performance the following day. The other aspect, which you did touch on, is that even though we may sleep long periods of time, the sleep may not be really of good quality. How serious a problem is sleep deprivation? Well, it can be very serious because lack of sleep can affect our performance. It's not, we can get cranky and all of that, but if we're, our performance is poor and we're in a very critical job, we can have a major incident. And there have been many across society in which sleep and fatigue were issues. The Exxon Valdez was one in which the captain got a lot of attention, but the mate who was driving the ship had been on duty for 36 hours. But you can read your, your local papers every weekend. You'll see a car crash with probably a single drive around 2 or 3 a.m. No reason why they happened to drive off the road. And we all believe that that's probably a short sleep event that occurred when they weren't looking for it. Dr. Walsleben, I know how the sleep deprivation affects me. By the end of the day with my children, I'm tired and cranky. I'm not making good parenting decisions. I uh, don't have a lot to give my husband when he comes home. And then I just feel too tired to exercise. So I think, oh, I'll eat or I'll have a big cup of coffee and that will give me the energy that I don't have naturally. Are these pretty common effects of sleep deprivation amongst your patients? They're very common and so many people accept them. I would even say by Friday afternoon, I'm afraid to get behind the wheel of a car because I just feel like I am not a safe driver on the road. That's how tired I am by Fridays. I think it's great of you to have recognized that, and that's a real major concern for most of America's workers. By Friday, everyone seems to be missing probably five hours of sleep. Okay, please take some time to answer the questions or in a case you already have to check them. Go ahead. 
that brings us to the listening skill of recognizing supporting details. Yeah, we remember we have the main points uh, that are the development of the subtopic. The subtopic, which is the topic sentence mostly in the text, would be the development of the of the general main idea, which is uh, introduced in the introduction. Now, in order to develop the main points, we use supporting details. Like writers, speakers state main ideas and offer supporting details. They sometimes speak in oral paragraphs, you know, like you kind of can imagine the paragraphs, especially when they want to inform or persuade. In this interview, the intention of the speakers is to do is to do both, to inform us about the problem, but also to persuade us that the problem is serious. Listen for supporting details that prove the validity of the speaker's point. Okay, we're gonna listen to this uh, example. Dr. Walslaven, why are we all so tired? We're probably tired because we don't make sleep a priority. And I think as a young mother and a career woman, your days are pretty well filled. And I would suspect that you probably think you can do without sleep. Okay. Dr. Uh, Walsman's um, idea is we don't make sleep a priority. She supports this main idea with four reasons why Leanne probably doesn't make sleep a priority right um she's a young mother she's a career woman her days are filled she thinks she can do uh, without sleep in this example the main idea and details are linked in the oral paragraph by two connecting phrases and i think and i would suspect and i think you see here and here i would suspect so the main point is that everybody's so tired all the time and these are the details that support it basically Great. Now, we're going to try this one out. You're going to listen to excerpts one and two. Uh, read the main, main idea. So the main idea has already written down for you. You just have to listen for the supporting details that are connected or identify that main uh, point. Now, the first one, sleep deprivation can be very serious because lack of sleep can affect our performance. And Dr. Wolfsbend supports the main idea with examples of two different types of accidents. Two different types of accidents. Okay, what are these? Try to listen for that. Let's go. The Exxon Valdez was one in which the captain got a lot of attention, but the mate who was driving the ship had been on duty for 36 hours. But you can read your, your local papers every weekend. You'll see a car crash with probably a single drive around 2 or 3 a.m. No reason why they happened to drive off the road. And we all believe that that's probably a short sleep event that occurred when they weren't looking for it. Okay, go ahead and answer. That brings us to the second excerpt. The main idea is sleep, de uh, sleep deprivation uh, affects us a lot. Leanne supports her main idea with details from her own life. And I want you to complete the list of what she's mentioning. The first one is done for you. She is tired and cranky. Okay, let's listen. Dr. Walsleben, I know how the sleep deprivation affects me. By the end of the day with my children, I'm tired and cranky. I'm not making good parenting decisions. I uh, don't have a lot to give my husband when he comes home. And then I just feel too tired to exercise. Exactly. Please write down the things you heard. <clears throat> awesome. That brings us to the last part of today's lesson, which is connecting the listening. So we're basically looking at information we got from listening one and from listening two, trying to connect the dots and from there come to a conclusion or justification and um, use that in order to, yeah, to do something with it. So the first step is organizing. So you're gonna use the information from listening one, which is about teenagers, and then listening to which is about the parents of young children, and you're gonna fill out this chart. So now we're looking at this chart. We've got these topics of teenagers and parents of young children, but then we're gonna look at the subtopics. So in regards to these two major topics, we're, we're listening for causes of sleep deprivation, symptoms of sleep deprivation, and recommendations from professionals for both cases. You're gonna note that down, and then we can see how all of that connects together. Okay, uh, you can answer this straight away, um, but you can also uh, just, uh, yeah, just try and go over the listenings again. If you need, you can just uh, re-listen to it and then see how this works out. Okay, so pause your video to fill out the chart. Awesome.
awesome. Now you could also have taken that information from the answers that you have already uh, written in listening one and listening two. Basically from there, you could already get that information. <clears throat> that brings us now to step two, which is uh, synthesizing. You were actually supposed to role play a radio call-in show with a public health doctor. And then <clears throat> we had the doctor, teenager, and a parent and a, of a young child. And then the doctor would ask the callers to describe the symptoms of their sleep deprivation. And then the doctor explains the dangers of sleep deprivation and recommends solutions. So we were supposed to do that, but it's a pity we cannot do that right now. But we're still definitely going to talk about this and see, like, um, what the points that you have written down in the chart, how that connects. Basically, in this part of synthesizing, as we have connected the dots, we come to the point of creating. Yeah, and this is where we would create a role play. So we're definitely going to read this out loud through our Zoom meeting. Great, yeah. So to review what have we done today, yeah, that brings us to the beginning of the vocabulary where we... Um, <clears throat> looked at the bold-faced words, right? <clears throat> and where we uh, basically looked at uh, where the words would fall in in context of a dialogue. Yeah, then we uh, did a listening comprehension to listen really uh, to answer questions. And then we went over the listening skill, recognizing supporting details as in listening knowing the main point but then kind of being able to catch the details in an audio last we connected the dots of listening one and two in order to create uh, actually role play which sadly we cannot do thank you very much for today you guys are amazing god bless you and i will see you soon bye bye mm -hmm.